so my three scissor attempts to date are all middling at best. They all work, but not really well. I was hoping to give scissors as gifts for a few people, but I need to get my function correct. So I was fooling around the other day, and I made this prototype, and I haven't even really sharpened it, but it works well. These sort of half-round depression blades are a bit odd, but it's much easier for me to get a good edge, even with minimal sharpening. This is only a 6mm piece of medium carbon. I wish I had a piece of high carbon and that was 8 or maybe 10 millimeters, but I'll use this. I'm starting with the handle ends, and that's mainly because I don't have my scissor making skills down. It gets confusing with the left right aspect of uh, where the cutting edge is in relation to the handle ends and the like. Tongs seem to come naturally for me, but scissors don't, and so I need practice. I would say I need to probably make at least 20 pairs before I can start making good scissors. And if I had my steps down, I most likely would start from the cutting ends. It's like I said in the past, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. The generous handle hoops have made it so that I don't have a lot of material for the cutting ends, so I'll move the handle ends just a bit. I need to give a shout out to Scott Johnson for his recent donation and to Sherman Shoresman for becoming my newest Patreon supporter. Thanks very much fellas, it's really very much appreciated. So I took a break and I thought wow this would be really nice if I could wrap paracord around the handles. So when I'm finished we'll see. Just a quick aside, I made a new logo. I've had a lot of nicknames over the years and the very first one was Bonehead. So Bonehead approved. If you'd like to show some support and get this new design on a t-shirt, a mug, or a cap, then head over to my spread shop. So this is the unusual aspect of this pair of scissors that I'm fullering in a half round depression to act as the blades. So there's too much distance between the handle ends. Think about having the back side of the blade in line with the inside of the end of the handle.
also make it flat on the inside. Just round it over into an edge, and that'll work just fine. So now another problem, the handle hoops are just too spacious. So when I open it, I don't open the jaw ends much at all. went from a pleasing form to looking more like a pair of kidneys. So at this point, the dynamics are right, and it can cut paper, but cutting paper is just one thing. I want this to be a multi-purpose pair of scissors. So you can ease back and even round off a bit the non-cutting edge, and that will help it to open and close more easily. A true test with paper is if I can just push the scissor along, and I can. I had a real hard time cutting this paracord with another scissor. This one works pretty well. It's almost like this scissor is tailor-made for leather and also for rubber. Okay, I'm going to give it the old oxalic acid bath and see if I can give it a little bit of patina. So this is one full day later. And after a few minutes of drying, it starts to take on that greenish powdered look.
So my scissor making skills are moving along. When I get a chance I'm going to pick up some more suitable material for making scissors. Thank you everyone and I'll catch you guys next time.